Hey there, Cancer. Getting ready to do your reading for mid-March into April. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Kit, and I am here to do a monthly reading for you. All right, let's get this out of the way. Okay, let's see what's going on. Mid-March, April 2024. Universe Guides, Angels, and Spirits. What's going on with Cancer? Mid-March, April 2024, please. What do they need to know? And don't forget to like, share, possibly leave a comment, subscribe. And if you do so, if you leave a comment, you are automatically entered in any one of my readings for a prize for me just because because I love my subscribers. So there you go. All right, that card wants to come out. I'm going to take it. Okay, Cancer. Caring connections. Something's going to be, cha be changing up in your connections, whether it's with friends, family, um, a loved one, you know. Um, some of you have had issues recently with um, either connecting with or um, you might be, you know, the two of you might be knocking heads. Whoever this is doesn't have to be um, a relationship, a love relationship, perhaps it, it could be family, right? And I feel like that's changing. Things are coming together finally. I feel like there's going to be... Um, a meet me halfway sort sort of scenario underneath the deck we have indecision as well so this could be you know a situation if if the indecision is involving this person um, you know there could be some issues going on that you're not sure if you want to um, honor that path or, or what's going on but let's see what else what else spirit there we go financial constraints so yeah, some of you might be overspending. Watch your wallet the next six weeks or so. Watch your wallets, watch your um, bank accounts. You know, try not to overspend. Um, try not to go too far with the purchases, right? There's gotta be some type of balance and underneath the deck, you know, we have the yin yang and that talks about the balance. So there has to be some type of balance. Um, with your with your money for the next six weeks or so okay and one more card thank you there we go attachment something you can't let go of but i feel like you'll be starting that'll also be changing we have two cards that that are number fives right we have the 14 that's a five and we have the five card and the fives talk about change so i feel like there are things that you haven't been able to let go of and you're finally um, at the point where things are going to start getting easier for you you will start to um, realize that the things that were holding you back you know you're going to be able to move on from them right um i also feel like if there's someone from your past that you feel like you can't seem to shake that things are going to start to um it, it, you're going to be helped along in that situation you're not going to um, be so tied up in thoughts of this person or um, what have you for some of you right so that's a good thing um, i think the only major concern right now as far as generally is to watch the spending okay because you know that that could you know it's a snowball effect for some of you right um, it just it's it's not easy believe me I know all right let's see let's get a couple more oracles okay spirit cancer for the month of April and the rest of March 2024. Cancer, please, spirit. This card. Balance spirituality and practi practicality. So again, there's that balance word, right? 
what's practical for you, right? What's practical for you? How much time do you give yourself? This to me talks about giving yourself time, giving yourself um, time that you need for you and don't overdo certain things. Don't neglect other things. Find that equal balance, right? Another card, please. Cancer, please. Here we go. And what do you need to release? So that right here with this attachment, there's something you need to release from the past. There's some type of, um, whether it's hurt or just something that isn't serving your purpose any longer that you really, you've been holding on to. And it's time now. It's time to say goodbye to that. You can move forward more easily if you don't have something like that holding you back or blocking, you know, blocking you. Um, and I really feel that this six weeks or so coming up is, is really going to be a big help with, with that. One more card, please spirit. One more card for cancer. Thank you. This one. Yeah, it's time to take action. No more procrastinating. If there's something in a situation with a, a person that, you know, you're finding it's hard to get along with this person or whatever, it's time now to, to nip that in the bud or talk to the person or whatever the case may be. Now, obviously, if there's someone that you're not willing to reach out to, I'm not telling you what to do. You have free will, of course. So um, what I'm saying is, if let's say there's a family member, even if it's like a child, someone you're not quite, um, you know, meshing with, because I know... If you have a teenager, boy, I know, I know how that goes. Um, you know, it's time to have that talk. If it's a loved one, if it's a spouse, uh, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever the case may be, it might be time to have that talk with, with someone, you know, and that would help improve the connection that the two of you have. Because I really feel that there is some type of um, improvement coming up. All right, Spirit, Cancer, please. Rest of March, April 2024. Rest of March and April 2024, please. What do they need to know? <sighs> cancer, please. And then we'll get into some tarot. Okay. New moon in Scorpio, go deeper, go deeper. Don't keep things so, ah, uh, well, you know, we're not getting along, so, you know, okay, you know, maybe things will change later. Take action, go deeper into the situation. You know, if you're not sure what it is you really need to release at this point, go deeper, look into things that haven't worked out for you, things that are standing in your way, people who are standing in your way, situations that are standing in your way, go deeper. And underneath the deck is know your worth. Give yourself time to heal from situations. Give yourself time to know how important you are. Don't overdo it though, because we have that balance thing going on as well. So yes, give yourself time. Know your worth. There goes Finn. <laughs> All right, one more card, please. One more card, please. Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude, which I feel like most of you do already. Um, but there's something with this, this one person, this one person in your life I'm feeling. For whoever it is I'm reading for, it could be m multiple people, you know that. Um, there's someone who you, 
you just don't have that patience. You just don't have that. Um, it's almost like when they do something for you, it's like you feel like they, they do it because you had to say something about it, right? Um, whoever this, this one person is. I do feel, though, that speaking to this person, whoever this is this month, is going to make a, a huge difference. All right, let's get some tarot. You guys haven't seen this deck in a long time. This is my go-to deck. This was my original It Talks to Me deck. So let's see what's going on. Spirit, please tell me what's going on for Cancer the rest of March and April of 2024, please. What do they need to know? There we go. There's one. The Two of Wands. Two of Wands. This one. The Five of Wands. Yeah. So between th this conflict between you and somebody else, it's I, I can hear someone saying you don't understand. So there definitely is like some type of barrier between you and this other person. Thank you. And the two of pentacles. We have two twos on the board here. Let's get some clarifiers. So with the two of wands, which path do I take? Which path do I take, right? What do I choose? Do I choose to say something and perhaps have conflict? Do I choose that? This person might seem too busy for you at times, or you may be too busy for them at times, whatever the case may be. But there definitely is some type of choice that you're going to have to make in the next six weeks regarding this person. All right. Why the Two of Wands, please, Spirit? Please clarify the Two of Wands. This one wanted to come out. Why is that here, please, for Cancer? Ooh. Okay, should I take them all? They say yes, I'll take them all. Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling stuck in a situation where you feel like if you say something, you will be hurt. This person may have hurt you in the past. This person may have really, you know, said some nasty things. But you have love for this person. So you're, you're stuck in, a, in between a rock and a hard place, so to speak. I'm afraid to say something. If I do, this could happen. If I don't, then I feel stuck in this situation and I allow myself to get hurt. Okay, this five of wands, what is that all about? Five of wands, please. Seven of cups. You do have options. Thank you. So with the Five of Wands, there are options on whether or not you're going to end something or move forward in something. This is swift movement, but sometimes it's reckless movement, the Knight of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups, the Death Card, and the Knight of Swords. So there's there's that decision. You, you're going to have options. So when there is conflict, rather than just ending things just like that with this person, because this person is going to come in, and this person sometimes comes in a little uh, short-fused or perhaps um, doesn't know how to speak right. <laughs> to people, right? Might say the wrong thing, but mean something else. And this could be you as well. 
you know, flip the situation if you need to for your situation. But there are other options, right? There are other choices. Sometimes it might leave you in a sense where you're like, what is wrong with this person, right? Not quite understanding the, the actions or reactions of this person. All right, the Two of Pentacles, please. What is that all about? Thank you. Thank you. One more card, please, Spirit. These two wanted to come out, so I'm going to take them both. Okay. So with the Two of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow movement, right? Really slow movement. We have the devil. I feel like that the chemistry between you and whoever this person is, is really good. But I also feel like when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, oofa, like oofa. We have the six of pentacles. There's that balance again. There needs to be some type of balance in your life for the next six weeks with between you, um, relationships, work, um, yourself, relationships, work, whatever the case may be. If you're not working, then it's you and relationships, you and, um, you know, taking care of things, but also taking care of yourself. The, the balance is off. Oh, we have one here. I didn't even look at. Look at this. The hair font. So I really feel like somebody's got to step it up. Somebody's got to, um, whether it's you or this other person, in the next six weeks, there will be a change. It will be for the better. I know there's a lot going on here, but I am reading for six weeks. I'm reading for different topics, and I really feel the only issue you guys are really going to have is watching the money. Watch that money for the next six weeks or so. Other than that, this, this personal situation with this person, communication is the key. Is basically the whole thing in a nutshell. All right, let me get you some advice. What advice for cancer, please, for the next six weeks? Advice for Cancer, please, for the next six weeks. Six weeks, please. Thank you. Okay. Opportunity. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. Yeah. I do see things improving for you. I really do. In every way, shape, and form. And as long as you watch the money situation, that'll be fine as well. So Cancer, there you go. Like I said, don't forget to leave a comment, be subscribed, hit the thumbs up. And by doing so, you're in the running for a free gift from me. No strings attached. I pay for shipping. I pay for everything. Um... I love, love, love you guys. Have a beautiful month. I am also open for personal readings. Everything is in the description box below. You have a great month. Take care. Bye.